what's up y'all this is Mad Mav welcome back to the channel um, for those of y'all that already know this is review and today we're going to review the movie from the studio A24 called Hereditary now Hereditary was directed and written by Ari Aster and basically this movie is a family drama um, obviously horror slash mystery with a whole lot of suspense to add it to it, when, especially when it comes to the shots and how they framed them and everything, which is something I love for the movie. But the story itself is about the family and their loss of a grandma and the unraveling of secrets that happen because of the because of the loss of the grandma. And um, I think that when it comes to this movie, I think they did what they needed to do what they wanted to do and I feel like it was very creative it was very um bold and ballsy um for them to do and um from the reviews as a matter of fact it's not even reviews because I've been really trying to make sure that um before I even do my review for y'all that I don't even really look at any reviews from anybody else but the things that I've been hearing is that supposedly this is like the new modern exorcist. And I mean, I must agree, like there's um, little tidbits of when it comes to the exorcist that I did feel in this movie. This this is a very interesting movie. And when it comes to his review, um, I just saw this actually yesterday um, prior to. Um, usually I do my review the same day of and I couldn't even do it because of so much um, that I had to take in from the movie. And I I really just couldn't do it that day. I, I just had to really just sit on it for a minute and really just take in what I'd seen. And now basically we're gonna go straight into the pros of this movie. I feel like the actors did a hundred percent and beyond. I liked all the characters. I felt like all of them had their own unique layer to them um that made them interesting especially a big shout outs to first of all the mom i feel like when you see it and how many layers that she had to really act out and bring to the screen like it could have either went like what the heck is she doing or she's overacting or dang she's hitting it right on the head like and i'm feeling this and personally i felt it big shout out to the brother the big brother that actually um plays a role yeah i really liked i le really liked all the actors but those two definitely like stuck um stood out um for me and i felt like they really um brought something to those characters and did something special with them without getting off subject i really like the tone and the look of the movie but the shots and how they um how they framed them and um the movements um i I really liked the movements and how they did them. I felt like they did a fresh take on basically the jump scares because, you know, all of us kind of get used to like, oh, here comes the jump scare or it's coming right now and everything like that. The movement went with what they were saying so you can understand the character and where it, they're feeling in the moment. And like they really have these shots, like these long holds um, that they do, um, but it's with reason and it's with feeling. And um, I really, really appreciate it that the shots, the movements, the framing, um, the dialogue and how they did it with the movement it was all A plus for me. Another thing that I liked about this movie was the sound design. They did a good job of um, using that as an advantage to for the story. Like not just just um just to have these big knocks or you know what I mean oh something's over here they do have those moments but like they use the sound design to have the sound design be a character for the character when you see the movie you'll 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 know what I mean um where I'm coming from and also moving on when it comes to the effects yes there is a certain effect that they do. Now, people that basically watch like stuff like Ghost Hunters or Ghost Adventures, or at least, you know what I mean, just know about like, you know, um, when it comes to like ghosts and like EVPs and all that stuff. 
Um, you probably heard of orbs um, when it comes to spirits and things like that. And um, in the movies, we all seen different takes. We've seen it when it basically is just people that are like their body is like not even like it's just just faded or you know um you got the one where basically like a ghost story that just came out from um another a24 joint where they just had like a sheet over the guy and everybody has their own adaptation and their own creative ways of showing like what ghosts are what the afterlife like feels or looks looks like and they have a particular way that they do and it's very subtle you know what I mean? It's not like major CGI type of movie, but I I like how it came together when it came to them, why they use that effect and everything like that. So moving on to the cons of the movie. Now the cons I can say for this movie would be most likely the pacing of the movie. Now the pacing of the movie, I do like, I do like not only it's not only the pacing of, of the movie but it's the shots too i just don't know if people would feel the same way that i feel and i feel like some of the general audience some of my friends possibly wouldn't like like it the same as me despite it being like a real well shot film there's some people that might not feel that style there's just certain shots that they do where it's just shots of an item and just like long holds on, on them and maybe panning up to like another um, item. And I mean, there's a lot of shots even when it comes to like written words and things like that. Um, just a heads up, cause I was trying to like read the sub subtitles and text and things like that. There's just, there's just long holds to items and then there's holds when it comes to certain just random people at times and things like that and the times where i like the dialogue some people might not like it because i mean it is just long holes on it but if you're not i mean i really feel like it did execute when it comes to the dialogue and the shots and i feel like people will feel that but this is a different type of horror movie it is very um slow in its own way but it, it, it i I mean, I'm in my cons, but it just does such a good way of just like still keeping you entertained. Also, moving on to another con that needs to be addressed is I just feel like there's some things that might feel predictable to people. I feel like there's a lot of things that they did right to um, hide the the overall story and the direction of the results that they, they were going for. But I do feel like there is some predictable parts that I could I, I could actually see coming. Like I feel like they did such a good job of the dialogue because it's like right in your face, it's right there, but they they do just enough to hide it from you. But if you're listening enough, you pretty much can already tell what's coming. I just feel like some people might might feel like that that might kill kill the movie i feel like it didn't for me i don't feel like it will kill your experience personally when it comes to the predictable parts um the, the movie as an experience i feel like was that's what it's all about and that's that's all i'm gonna say about that because again we're in the con so i'm gonna move on to the next thing and that's the biggest con the biggest issue that, um, and again, that made me linger about like doing this review is the ending. The ending, I feel that there's three ways you can feel. You could either understand the ending and like it, or you could not understand the ending and obviously not really like it because you feel like it's a waste of time and everything. Or you could even understand the ending and then you get that face like, really? Like, really? So I I don't know how like the general audience, like I don't know how y'all gonna feel about it. So I, I really personally liked the ending. I understand what they're going for. 
there were some things in the ending, especially the crescendo, because there's like a big crescendo of like, because I said it's a slow burn, um, build up. And then at one point in time, there's this crescendo of like horror and things going on. And it was like, like for horror fans, like that's why I say like, I'm, I haven't gotten to my final thoughts, but for horror fans, you should definitely at least give it a chance because um, it definitely... Um, has some cool stuff that they do, um, especially at the ending um, for that big reveal. But um, yeah, I just feel like people are gonna be feeling kind of iffy about how that how the ending is. And moving to cons to basically my final thoughts on like if you should watch it or not. I really don't. I really don't know. If you're, I say, if you're a horror fan, I say go and um, give it a chance. I feel like it's worth watching because I do feel like it is a very, very creative, bold, ballsy, spooky, eerie, cool family drama that they put together. Um, I just, just really, really appreciate just the experience. Like personally, I would go and watch it again, but that ending I mean, there was people in the audience that at the end when it actually went to credits and everything like that, I think people, you know how the Avengers, basically they have the credits at the end and then, you know what I mean? People are waiting. I think even when the credits stopped, when the, when the credits came on, everybody was kind of like, is that it? Or like, I, I, I because everybody's still sitting like, like I, or do we have a post credit? I had to check myself, but I think I even heard just a couple of groans like of dissatisfaction. So I really don't know how the general audience is going to feel. But I, for horror fans, I feel like go and watch it personally. If you don't like horror movies or you don't really care for them, um, maybe you want to just wait and, um, you know, pay for it later or whatever, or stream it on your device later. But... I just feel like it's a good movie and basically let me go into my score basically uh I would have to give this movie a 7 like this movie was very hard to score and it was a very hard movie to take in and at the end of the day I got my my horror brain basically put put it at a 8.8 when it comes to just how I enjoyed it. But when it comes to the my film brain and just like overall for everybody in this review, I probably would give it a 7.7 7 out of 10. That's my, that's my score when it comes to it. So yeah, that's, I would say that that's my review. So if you have any questions or comments that you have to that you want to make please do that below um if you like the video please press that like button and if you want to hear from from you about any other reviews that, um about the movies coming up of course like incredibles um jurassic world is coming up i think superfly is coming out um coming out real soon um so even though if you want to put in the comment below and let me know which movies that you would want me to review to check out for y'all please just put it below um and yeah definitely subscribe um so you can get more notifications when those reviews come and also i just want to give a brief talk like uh just to let y'all know for people that was waiting for my Oceans 8 review or other reviews are they basically I got held up over the weekend because again like I do videography and video editing for a company called River Flow Productions we entered a film festival called End of Days and basically it's about it's basically shooting a whole film in one weekend and it was a very long process and a very interesting process, but without me um wasting too much of your time, that's the reason why I didn't get to those reviews. So hopefully this weekend I can like really um um 
get get everything down despite I think we have reshoots this Saturday, but I should be able to finish up some reviews for y'all that are interested in the new movies that's coming out. But um, yeah, if you do want to check out any of our short films, definitely check them down in the in the playlist below. And yeah, Mad Mad out. I'll see y'all later. Take care.